The dust has settled. Champagne has been popped. Budweiser's, Bud Heavies have been thrown everywhere. Everything's sticky. Everything's gross. Everything's sticky. gross in there. And we have tickets punched with one goal in mind, and that's raising the commissioner's trophy. Welcome back to Around the Moon, MLB podcast presented by Apollo Media, also presented by Zing Zang. Shout out Zing Zang back on board. The new Zing Zang Blazing Bloody Mary mix and Blazing Bloody Mary ready to drink four packs and ready to serve in the bottles as well. Uh, shout out Zing Zang, they're blazing. I mean, boys, look at this bottle. Look at it's it. It's ready just to serve, ready just to go. Just, in a, a, good, just a good way to start your mornings if you're watching some wild card baseball. Just and which you're going to have because there's yep. four games set. A whole bunch of them. Also, shout out Celebrity Mint. Woo! They're doing Ric Flair at Comic Con, dropping uh, their chibis and autograph cards, gold minted and silver minted. That is October 14th at New York City at Comic Con. Shout out Big City Wings, Big City Wings, Apollo's Wing Joint, Houston's Wing Joint, um, Gridiron Specials. Perfect place to watch wild card games here in the city of Houston. Boys. The dust has settled. Champagne has been popped. Budweiser's, Bud Heavies have been thrown everywhere. Everything's sticky. Everything's gross. Sticky. Everything's gross in there. And we have tickets punched with one goal in mind, and that's raising the commissioner's trophy. That Some looks, call it a piece of metal. That's what I would I call say. it a damn good trophy to have. Oh, yeah. It's, it's the best trophy to have, in my opinion. It's it's a I think it is the best trophy. Well, yeah. Oh, Stanley Cup's up there. Stanley, Stanley, Stanley Cup, Cup is Stanley Cup is Stanley up there. Cup Stanley, okay, Super, second best. Trophy. Listen, I mean, yeah. listen, you win a Super Bowl, cool. Not, not, not many people have done that, or different people have done the last two decades. It's every year is pretty much different for that fucking commissioner's trophy. Yeah, every every <clears> year <throat> is pretty much different. So, and what we have, and what we did have, is a sweaty, sweaty two weeks, <sighs> two months. That was September baseball. Uh, um, baby. That's probably one of the best September's. In a, in a good minute. Yeah. Uh, we've had game 163s. We've had all this different stuff. But with so many spots, two spots really on both sides, and so many teams jockeying for those spots, it was fun down the stretch. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It was terrifying if you were it was, it, Yeah, yeah it was teams, terrifying. You were just we We experienced awful. it for the first time in a while. We experienced that race, you know, up, but did up we, and close personal. You know. In the end, did we really? Nah, nah. we weren't. It worried. Was we weren't worried at all. We weren't worried. But I was like, I mean, I was texting like a Phillies fan the other day, and the Phillies made it. They they made they were the uh, what the fourth seed? They're the fourth Phillies seed. are the fourth seed. seed. Yes, okay. They're the fourth seed. They made it like a while ago, but it's still like it was pretty sweaty for them. They were like, "Fuck!" I mean, like we couldn't win our division. Obviously, we had a juggernaut in our division, and we had another team in our division challenging us for a spot, and they made it too. Three NL East teams, and like I'm like that's fucking sweaty, man. That gets sweaty, and, and it's kind of crazy because if you if you zoom out and you just if you would have let's just go in a time machine, let's go a little rewind, and you would have just told me at spring training that the top four seeds, two on each side was the Braves, Dodgers, and Baltimore, Houston. I'd be like, that makes that makes sense. Like, well, you would I say could, Baltimore, and I'd go, huh? What? Well, what I mean, like you, you, I think you knew that they were coming. I don't know if you thought they were gonna. Do what they just did this season. You'd be able to talk yourself into it quite quickly. Yes, at least the and the three top teams are there. It just happened to be Houston got in on one sixty two, while the Braves and Dodgers I think wrapped up around the All Star break. It felt like. Yeah. But when the dust settles, this is what you have on each side: one seed Baltimore, two seed Houston, uh, three seed Minnesota, 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 fourth seed Tampa Bay with the second base second best record. Uh, fifth seed Texas Rangers, sixth seed Toronto Blue Jays. On the NL side, you have the Atlanta Braves, number one seed, Dodgers, number two seed, the Brewers as a three seed, four seed Phillies, five seed Marlins. Mm, interesting. My Miami Marlins. Six seed Diamondbacks. Uh, let's go to the NL side first because we, everyone listening or watching is pretty Houston based, probably. So you already heard. The Houston side, and we'll we'll jump into the AL, but let's go in the NL because it's it's uh it's exciting because some interesting teams in there. New blood, new yeah. blood, some interesting teams. New blood, yeah. Um, you have the former NL pennant winners as the four seed taking on the Miami Marlins, who lost a Sandy Alcantara to a Tommy John, uh, going to be surgery now all next year, which stinks because I would have 
said the Marlins had a really good shot here in a three gamer if Sandy was pitching. Yeah, definitely. I mean, that because that's could be just a guaranteed win the way he can yeah, take he over. Yeah, he can take game. over. Yeah, because yeah. the Marlins, mind you, have been to the playoffs now the third time. Third time. They, they've been three times, but one of them was COVID. doesn't count. This is the third time in Miami Marlins history where they play 162 and make the playoffs. The other two, they have won the World they Series. Won. Man, man. Hey, Odds you, are in their favor. You, you know, look at it that way. Very funny enough, when we were at Lone Depot Park back in March for the WBC, we were joking around saying, well, if the Marlins make the World Series, Astros and Marlins make the World Series, we'll come back here. And now, all of a sudden, the Marlins are in the, the postseason. And now it's starting to become a reality like, oh, Oh, that could that could happen. That if, could happen. If the Marlins make the World Series, I'm going. I don't care who they play. Yeah, that's I'm that's going fucking to cool. They have a cool stadium. They have arguably a hidden gym stadium. I, I yeah, little cafe con leche. Oh yeah, dude. I mean, little, it's maybe. little empanadas and oh Cuban dude, coffee. oh yeah. man, the culture, everything about it. Cuban coffee. Oh, uh, mm-hmm. just mm. I I think the the cool thing about this is that. You had Miss Kimming become the first woman Asian general manager to go to the playoffs. Insane. That's an amazing insane accomplishment. Huge, this is a huge, huge, huge thing for uh, everyone, uh, and just in all sports in life. And to see her uh, build this team, uh, Skip Schumacher uh, getting the gig. I was like, Skip Schumacher from the Cardinals is going to be the head coach of the Marlins it was weird. Uh, taking over for for Madden League and and I was just like, what are they cooking down there? What are they yeah. doing? They're like out of sight, out of mind, and they're in the division with the Braves that are just a juggernaut. And, and before every- the Mets were also projected to be the, up there. The Phillies were defending Philly, yes, NF- the NL pennants. Cardinals were. Everyone thought the Cardinals were gonna. Yeah, I mean, it, it, yeah. The in the NL East before the season started was. Everyone thought maybe the Marlins would be last. Yes. And, and so she's been able to build one, break barriers, but two, build this team that is kind of money ball S. They have they yeah. have the Solaires, they they got Yuli, they have they made the trade for Arise. They've done all these different things where they could be a tough out. Made made some sneaky moves at the trade deadline. Yes, they did. You know, getting Burger and Bell. Burger Bell, yeah. Getting those guys and also the uh, I don't know Dave Robertson from New York like they made some sneaky moves not huge flashy moves but ones that like hey they could high high reward low risk moves. There's a from the fan I'm, I'm putting these guys on blast. Kim Ang has officially failed as a Miami Marlins GM August 18, 2022. The Fanatics Marlins uh, team page huh. uh, sounds like some fan shit. page. Um, Posted this uh, over a year ago. Um, update, like update, uh, update, a million question marks. Update. Uh, yeah, I, I'm fascinated. I'm fascinated for this this three game set because you have the Phillies on the other hand, who are itching to get back. I think they've turned it on ever since they passive, not even passive aggressively, just champion for Trey Turner, who had a, has had a terrible year in that first year of that contract, and he's turned it on. Um, the team Schwarber has like 48, 49 bombs, but negative war. Like he's a complete opposite of, of war stuff. Uh, Aaron Nola, I think Aaron Nola is a thing that makes his team go. Yeah. If he's clicking, uh, Aaron Nola and the Phillies are going to be a tough out. Obviously Bryce is doing Bryce things. Um, I mean, they just have the talent. They have the talent to be able to take it again. You know, get hot again, do it again. They've got fuel. They lost they the have, World Series last year, yeah. so they they want to get back. They want to beat the Braves. They want to do it all. And that's all they've heard. That's all they all they've heard for a year. They lost the World Series to the Astros, and it's Braves this, Braves that. Mm-hmm. Those teams are dangerous. Yeah. Um, obviously, you don't want to look ahead to the to the Braves, but because this Philly Marlins series can be really really mm-hmm. good. It's in Philly. It's not in Miami, so it's in Philly. I have the Phillies taking this in two tight games. Two tight games. I have them taking it in three. Ooh. I think the Marlins sneak one. I, I think they sneak game two. You know, I, I don't know. They're fun. And also, I, I was talking to that <coughs> Phillies fan, and I trust her word for it. She's like, we consistently always kind of, they're kind of our kryptonite this season. Like, we kind of feel, they're, they're, we're always in sweaty games with them. And I'm like, that could carry over to the postseason. They could have a sweaty series, a sweaty three gamer, dude. 
my Miami biases might be showing with this. I'm all over Miami Marlins Twitter because of my Dolphins fandom. They <laughs> fell to their knees. People were videoing themselves with the final out in game 162 to clinch the playoffs. Falling to their knees, crying. So excited just to be in the playoffs. I mean, it's badass, Yuli Gurriel, yep. hero of game three. Yeah. Three good run for, homer. Good for Yuli. I'm taking them. I'm, I want the Marlins. I want the Marlins. Just move them on. Move them on. Get three games. It's gonna Marlins take. have won the, se- the season series over the Phillies 7-6. Four of the Marlins wins. Four of the Marlins seven wins with the Phillies have been in one-run games. Um, the Miami Marlins were 24 and 40 last year in one-run games. They're yeah. 35 and 16 this year. One run. So they know how to win mm. tight games. Give you know. me the Marlins. Projected stars are Zach Wheeler versus Lazardo, Aaron Nola versus Garrett, Ranger Suarez versus Cabrera. I don't think the Phillies want this to go to a game three. No, uh, no you absolutely do not. not. Absolutely, absolutely not. Not with Ranger Suarez. Um, no way. So we'll shift. We'll shift quickly over to the other wild card uh, matchup and. This is the Brewers versus the Diamondbacks. Fun uh, little matchup. Fun matchup. Uh, they had the th- seven, the six oh eight Central Standard, seven oh eight Eastern uh, time. They are playing in Milwaukee. Milwaukee being the Central winners. Milwaukee's just kind of slowly grazing to the that NL Central division title again. Um, they do have Devin Williams this year. Uh, he did not break his hand in the celebration. Very so good. that is a good weapon to have when yep. you have Devin Williams <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, there. Uh, Yelly kind of turned back the clock. He, he's been swinging it uh, quite well. But Arizona, I believe, are in that young and dumb. Uh, we're here. Let's just freaking go. Yeah. Would Corbin you, Carroll may take over the series. Yeah. I Very mean, much so. You got to respect them because of how young and dumb and foolish and ignorant they are. But they believe themselves. Seems like they really have a good coaching staff over there, especially with like Brent Strom coming over there and making their pitching like pretty reliable. It's gonna be that's gonna be an interesting series because the Brewers play it safe. They're very safe. The Diamondbacks are dangerous. Ah oh, man, I, I kind of like give me give me give me Brewers in three. Give me Brewers in three. Ooh, give me Brewers in three. They both Ooh. they both play in indoor parks. Yeah, so not a, a whole lot of change there. Parks a little bit smaller in Milwaukee than it is in Arizona. Mm-hmm. Ball won't fly as far. It's not as dry. It's an interesting series. The Diamondbacks, we've been talking about it all summer long, that they remind us of the 2015 Astros a little bit. Yeah. Which is a little dumb, dumb, a little stupid, you know? We're just going to try things. We're going to dive all over the field. We're going to hit a lot of baseballs. <coughs> Corbin Carroll, he's going to do the things. Um, uh, I'm going to take the Diamondbacks in three. I'm taking the Road road, Ooh. Uh, road Warriors You're here. taking back-to-back Road back-to-back Warriors back-to-back road on the Warriors. NL side. I don't know. I'm, this is, it's interesting because... Pitching is going to be king here. Uh, also, the Diamondbacks kind of had to pitch their guys in games one and two of the Houston regular season series. So, Zach Gallen and Merrill Kelly are not available until games two and game three. Yeah. That's so, tough. the projected starter for game one, who's going to go up against Corbin Burns, is Madison the Bumgarner. Brandon Padoff. Uh, oh, kid. He, he's a top prospect for him. Yeah. He's had an up and down year, being up and down in AAA. Um, he's pitched much better of late and Lavello may turn to him. So it's be really interesting because if you sneak that game, you have one game to win with gallon and, and, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Merrill. So it's a must win game one for, for Corbin Burns and I trust him. So I'm going to take the Brewers, but in three. Yeah I, yeah, I agree. I think pitching, their pitching will kind of prevail, but it'll be a close one. It'll be a sweaty series again. Yeah, I'm curious to see how the wild cards play out. Three games at home, you know, it's kind of like just an, and it's the playoffs, but it's like another series. You're yep. not on the road after two games. You're playing three. It's just a normal series. And, and honestly, I feel like the Dodgers got the better of the draws of the top two seeds. For sure. Getting the winner of the Brewers in Arizona compared to Philly and uh, Miami for the Braves. So... It's going to be really interesting how that shakes out. Obviously, we're just touching on the wild card here on on Around the Moon. Uh, let's shift over to the AL side. And this was this was wild because the one seed was determined, the three seed was determined, and the four seed was determined. So Baltimore winning the East had that locked. Uh, excuse me, Tampa Bay uh, coming in second in the AL East had the first wild card seed locked. And Minnesota locking the central had a three seed penciled in. But the two, five, and six 
went to 162. Uh, you had the Rangers collapsing on their face uh, in Seattle, dropping three of four, allowing Houston to backdoor the two seed and the first round bye. And Toronto winning, but then punting game 162 to kind of avoid the Rays to kind of lock in the six versus three matchup. Smart. Uh, no one will ever admit it, but you can't tell me when you bench everyone for game 162 and a loss ensured the six seed and not going to Tampa that Toronto didn't play to win the game. Yeah. It's, I, it's smart. Uh, I don't. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I mean you play the game. You, you, yeah. you play, the, you play game. the game. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to be playing However, Tampa. History has told us that choosing your matchup usually does not work out Deuce for you because the, the Twins are going to rally behind that. Obviously, oh, like they have I'm, to. I'm, like, posting, oh, they I'm to posting that. I'm posting that game one sixty two lineup everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. everywhere. They wanted to play y'all instead of the Rays. Well, let's just take let's it personally. Just do a thing. Take it personally. Yeah, playing in Minnesota, maybe it gets a little cold. We got a cold front coming into Texas. Maybe it's cold in Minnesota. Although they live in Toronto, so like I don't know, yeah. but yeah, it's an interesting series. You know, George Springer, Carlos Correa. Yeah, Ooh, he's an awesome. we I do have that. that. We do have that for all the Beyond the Diamond and Apollo fans. We do have a Correa Springer matchup. I like it. Winner goes to play Houston in a homecoming. I like it. <laughs> um, I'm interested to see how this shakes out because Toronto has the bats, Minnesota has the pitching, and. <sighs> You could play bully ball and score a lot of runs, but pitching pitching wins in October. It does. I like to hear where you guys are at going into the series before I give my prediction. I, I'm going Road Warrior on this one. Ooh. Yeah, I'm going Blue Jays. It's just I love the Twins pitching. It's solid, very good. You know, I I believe their game one starter will probably be Lopez. Um, but I, that that offense, if it gets clicking, I mean they they almost they almost won against the Blue Jays. Or not the the Blue Jays almost won against Mariners last wild card, fucking bullshit devil magic that happened. But yeah. I think they take it. I think they take it this year, and I think they're setting up a uh, Houston Toronto uh, ALDS. I like them in three. I've got a trend going. Thing of the road team. <laughs> surprise, uh, surprise. Yeah. I think bats win this series. Yeah. For no reason in particular. I mean, Target Field's a big field. It's outside. Maybe the wind blows in a little bit. You know, balls don't fly around, but. Springer, Guerrero, I just – I think the lineup's too suffocating for the Twins pitching. Yeah. And I don't think the Twins have enough firepower on the bats to to get it done. So, I, I, I'm going to take Toronto in three. Yeah. I have uh, – the projected matchup is Kevin Gosman versus Pablo Lopez in game one. Uh, I have the Blue Jays winning in two. Oh. I, I think the lineup is deep. Um uh, yes, the Twins have some pitching, but I just I, I think the Blue Jays can play some play some bully ball here in games one and two and, and, and lock it up pretty quickly. Uh, not to say that a home game in Minnesota, like that crowd's going to be rocking, it's a different atmosphere for sure. But I just think in this short series, this one specifically, I think the Blue Jays can play some bully ball and uh, George Springer – Hits two home runs. Lead off, lead off home run game one. Set oh. the tone. That would be, yeah, that would be such a tone setter. I feel like the series would be wrapped up right there, man. I, I give me the bats. Give me a, the bats. As a Nashville fan, I hope it goes three so they burn yeah. more arms and, and more and more bullpen arms. Uh, I just think the better team's going to mm-hmm. prevail here uh, in the sense of lineup construction. Um, also, friend uh, friend of the program, Mimi Garcia, is on the Blue Jays. So nice. There you go. Uh, he makes, couldn't make a homecoming as well, so. Going to be really interested to see how that shakes out uh, because the winner of that comes to Houston on Saturday for game one of the ALDS. Uh, obviously, the Correa homecoming or the Springer homecoming uh, in the playoffs is, is pretty cool to see. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a real fun series. And then we shift over to the other uh, wild card matchup. You had the Rangers who were pretty much projected to win the AL West all, the entire year. They had all those all-stars they bragged about, all those OPS guys, and yet they're going on the road to Tampa Bay, who has uh, had their own forms of resiliency to come over some some things by their shortstop, who's a, a sick guy, yeah. and uh, losing uh, McClanahan to Tommy for the year. So uh, you have a team that I thought was really going to fade 
in Tampa Bay, uh, but they just kind of rallied rally the wagons and, and 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 got this you know top wild card spot and yeah. that home field advantage. Almost a hundred wins. Yeah, almost a hundred wins. They from just them. know how to win. Yeah, they just know, they're smart. They know how to win. They're sharp, man. A sharp team. Moneyball East. Yeah, pretty much. But it feels like it works somehow. You know, they're better, already, better for them than Oakland. Yeah, a lot better. I mean, they, st- you know, now they're never going to fucking give out a, a contract, a, a big contract no, ever no, again. Never, it's never. Over. But I mean, they, they know how to win, man. I mean, a 99, a 99 win wildcard team is pretty dangerous. That sucks I think. so bad to win 99 games and be a wildcard. Yeah, that does suck. But it makes it more dangerous, <laughs> in my opinion. I don't know. I mean, you won 99 and you're in the wildcard. That's, that's tough tickets because that wins. <laughs> That wins the division probably nine out of ten years. Oh yeah, I think you have wins the fuck out of our division. <laughs> oh for sure, <laughs> by a lot. <laughs> yeah, by nine <laughs> games, buddy. You have a you have a series though because they're gonna trot out the Rangers are probably gonna trot out Jordan Montgomery for game one against uh, Tyler Glass now, yep. which is gonna be a really really good matchup. And then game two you have Nate Evaldi versus Eflin, and then three it's to be determined. I don't know if Scherzer can make that comeback. Uh, I guess Savelli could slip slide in there for the Rangers, but the Rangers did take it to the Rays in the season this year. Um, then you also have the storylines of of Randy Rosarena and and Garcia being best of friends, and that was really cool. The All Star break moment of them the world and the, excuse me in the Homer Derby. This is going to be exciting. I think this goes three boys, and I don't know goes, who wins. You think it goes three? It does. I don't want to be a hater, but I think it goes two, and I think the Rays wrap it up. Neatly, Ooh. yeah. I don't know. I just feel like the Rangers. Congratulations on making the postseason. They're just, I don't know. I, I feel like they're not handling it correctly. They already, they already fucking fumbled the division. Yes. They already fumbled that, and now you have to go and play the Rays, who I think are such a sneaky dark horse World uh, World Series team. They just, they're so sharp. They know how to win. Now you have Glass now waiting game one, Eflin game two, Savali game three. If he goes to three. That's tough. I think Ray, I think the Rays take it in two. Selfishly, I want the Rangers to win this. I, I need an ALCS where it's the Rangers and the Astros, and that's a way looking ahead and skipping over all the series. But I think Tampa's just too good. And Texas, what did they score? Like, they scored zero in the last game. What? They they won the second to last game, right? But yeah, the, they won the Saturday night game. Like, scored a total of four runs against the Mariners in the last four games or something like that. I, their offense isn't doing it. And if you don't win game one, I don't trust Nathan Avaldi. Yeah. That's the problem. Yeah, that's and it. I yeah. think they lose game one like two to one. It's a yep. pitcher's duel. They both go six, seven, and I think they end up losing game one, and it's over after that. I think it's a two-game sweep from Tampa. Yeah, I feel like if 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 Glassnow does Glassnow thinks this is going to be wrapped up pretty tightly. I think it goes three. I have the Rays winning. Um, I just. I think the they'll rally the, the Rangers are going to punch back with Simeon Seager, Garcia and Young for sure uh, offensively. I just don't know where you where you win that game. Glassnell's tough cuz he's just so damn good. But I think you can get to the other guys. Um I probably probably respectfully going to do all the more thans on all their fantasy scores on prize picks yeah. uh, on game two and game three <laughs> just because uh, it's going to be, I think, really high-scoring games. <sighs> Rays in three. Rays in three, and Rays will go to Baltimore for a rematch of the AL East. That, see, that setting up that matchup right there, that's going to be a fun matchup. That's going to be a fun <laughs> five-gamer right there. Well, I, look, th- and you can't dismiss this either. The Rangers are traveling – from Seattle Ooh. all the way to Tampa, and they have a one-day red. I mean, That's I'm not, not a big fine. math guy, but it feels like from, like, over there to, like, right down Die here. Right down here. Like, so fucking far from each other. So far. And you have to sit there on that flight. Did we pop champagne too early? Oh. Did we lose – We did that uh. lose the division? Why did we not take care of business? We could be in our homes in the greater you're, DFW you're there, area. You're probably stewing a little bit. You're like, fuck, we – don't be. We should. We don't. We don't have to be doing this right now. We could be at home right now, getting ready for our Saturday matchup with you know whoever's gonna come. Now we're on a plane, gonna go face Glass now, right now, they, right now. They just didn't want to have a glass of champagne and do a little toast. You yeah. know, they, they went for it. They and didn't want to wait one night. I respect it. You know, you go to the playoffs. You haven't been since what 2016. 2016. So it's a big moment for the 
for the organization to go to the playoffs again. But you got to realize job wasn't done. Yeah, job, job wasn't done. was not done. Now you're in the wild card. And as you're watching this, the game will probably be starting here soon. Uh, they start at 2.08 Central Standard Time. <coughs> Excuse me. Toronto and Minnesota have the 3.30 game. Arizona, Milwaukee, the 6 p.m. game. And Miami and Philly have the 7 p.m. game. That's all God's time zone, Central Standard Time. And, man, you have three days of, of baseball that are going to be. Some good baseball. You know, it's also us, being Astros fans, feels pretty fucking good to not worry about our team oh. right now oh for my. the next few days. It's just we can just sit back and watch these games. and Stress-free. Yeah, stress free. Just watch. Let's watch some bloodbaths. Let's watch some teams try to scrape by in the three gamer and get to us, huh? I fun. this. I don't know if this is accurate or not, but MLB.com has the schedule up for the DSs. They they do. have they have them oh. TBDs, but they have them slotted in those time slots. So it looks like you might be able to make it on Saturday. Oh yeah, what time is what it, time we, would be? According to MLB.com, like it's in the three slot. It looks like Houston and the winner of Minnesota Toronto is a three slot, which in this format would be seven oh eight Eastern Standard Time. There is six oh eight. There's so, respectfully to both the teams. There's just no way that MLB puts it as a night game. Yeah, I think if especially if it's like Minnesota. If if Houston gets a night game, the DS we. We've arrived. Yeah, that's we've, awesome. We're finally getting our that's roses. Crazy. <laughs> because we've had seven <laughs> straight years of the first game at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Yep. Every time. Every time. Without it's, fail. It's like the Texans getting ESPN wild card yeah. every day or every Saturday, every every wild card Saturday. It sucks. Yeah. Uh, But I don't know if Minnesota is playing us. We're definitely just an afternoon. That's an afternoon game. It's a 1 o'clock waiting game. Happen. But if it's Toronto, I can see it being a night game. But they, they might also see the George Springer, Carlos Correa aspect of it and be like, hey. 2017 Astros coming to play the Astros. And Perhaps they're like, "Hey, this is a Perhaps what's early more? Night game. What's more of an afternoon worthy game or a night worthy game? Rays and Orioles, which I think that's going to happen, or like Blue Jays. Because right now Astros. it has the Braves slotted in the one, the one game. Yep. And if they play the Phillies, how do you not make? How that do you not make a that night a... game? Hmm. Very, know. very interesting. Very, it's gonna very be interesting. It's gonna be an interesting week of baseball, man. I can't wait. I, I'm very happy that I could just kick back and relax yep. uh, for a few days before the stress and not sleeping and and before we start sweating. Consumption of alcohol and October consumption of bad food and stress and not yeah, it's gonna be bad. October's here. And, October's uh, here. Let's give Des some flowers. It's his flu game. This is my flu game. He you can't heard. speak. All you he does heard. is cough right now. Is it, He's going through it. Yeah. I'm not, so. I'm, he, he was made, no, I'm not going to applause you. I'm not going to applaud you. Oh. You made fun of me last night for being sick. I did. Oh. You I made did. fun of me. I, I got that's sick. Rough. He was making, calling me, call my immune oh. system shitty. I'm just sending the claps. <laughs> you were, you're a patient zero. Called me, called, had said I had a weak immune system. <laughs> I did. And then, then did. look at you. I'm not going to applaud you. A week later. You. It was a sleeper. It was a sleeper cell. It mm. got me. Yeah. Got me. I got you. All right. Um, well, never mind. I take it back. <laughs> it was it is my flu game. Yeah. I, I don't have the flu. I wouldn't come spider to the office. Yeah, that would flip my spider Um <laughs> shout out to our sponsor, Celebrity Mint. Shout out to our sponsor, Zing Zang. Shout out to our sponsors, Big City Wings. That's around the moon, boys. And we have playoff baseball starting right now as you guys finish watching this. Yep. Right now. Right now. Watch baseball. Right now. Right, right yep. now. Watch baseball. Right now. Peace. Thank you.